So sometimes you may have a personal Apple ID and a professional one, um, but sometimes you want those worlds to collide. So um, I can control the information that I have on my personal Apple ID and share specific things with my school Apple ID without giving up the whole litter, if you will. So um, I can do that in three main apps. I can do that with my notes, I can do that with my calendar, and I can do that with reminders. Uh, let me start off with notes. So if I open up my notes app here, and I go into my list of all my notes, if I tap back, I have what are called folders. And you can set up as many folders as you want here. And in the bottom left-hand corner, there's the ability to create a new folder. And it asks you, do you want this fo folder to live on your phone uh, or on iCloud? Uh, in this case, I want this folder to live in iCloud. So I'm going to make a folder um, called Dr. Moran and hit save. And now this folder lives in my iCloud library. Now what I wanna do is I wanna take this folder and I wanna share it with my school Apple ID so that anything I put in this folder is gonna show up on my school computer uh, or any of my school devices. So in order to do that, I can simply open up that folder and then tap those three dots in the upper right hand corner and I can tell it to share that folder. Now it's gonna ask me who do I wanna share this folder with? Now, a couple different options or ways to do that. Um, it will share based on the apps that you have available to you um, in your device. Um, you just need to pick one, doesn't matter which way you do it, but it needs to be something that that other device has the ability to access. So for example, if I shared it via messages and I don't have messages set up um, on my school device, then that's not gonna work. So I could go ahead and do it via email. I could do it maybe just copying, uh, I have the Gmail link set up, or I could copy this link and just paste it into an email. Doesn't really matter, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose which way I wanna do that. The other option I have here is which share options I wanna give. Do I want this person to be able to make changes to the notes or just view them only? And since both of those people are me, I want to be able to make changes. So I'm going to go ahead and send this as an email. It's going to send this as an email from my personal Apple ID, um, and I need to send it to my school Apple ID. Now your school Apple ID can be found by going onto your iPad or your uh, MacBook and looking in your iCloud settings. Um, it is typically the first part of your email address, which mine is swagner, at Apple ID dot psdr3.org all right that is my work apple id and i'm going to go ahead and hit send and so that is going to send an email to my school email um, with a link to this dr moran folder more on that in a bit so now let's talk about uh, reminders reminders gives you the ability to have a bunch of different reminder lists that you might have for a variety of different purposes so if I had a reminder list here that I'd like to use, so I have one here called PSD list with school reminders of things that I want to work on, uh, what I can do is once I open that list, I can go ahead and hit those three dots. I can share this list. And just like before, I can choose how do I want to send this to, uh, or this invitation to my school Apple ID. Again, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my mail. And I'm gonna type in my school Apple ID again. And I hit send. And then that email with that invitation is gonna get shared. So the third way I can share uh, has to do with calendars. And so the way I can do that is I can simply open up my Apple calendar here. And I could go back into my list of calendars uh, at the bottom and I have a bunch of different calendars to choose from. Now I could just simply use my Gmail calendars if I use my Google account, my school Google account, and I could sign in on any device and do that if I want. But let's say I have some specific iCloud calendars that I use um, that I might share with family members in my house that I also wanna share with my school computer. So I have one here called Pattonville um, that I like to share. And again, same thing, I tap on that little I next to that calendar and I can add a person. And in this case, I'm gonna add the Apple ID of the person that I want to send it to, and then I hit send, and it will go to that person's computer. So now I'm going to switch things over to my work computer. 
So my work computer is signed in to my managed Apple ID. Uh, this is my Apple ID provided to me from the school district. Uh, and I know because that is the Apple ID.psdr3.org account. Now I do need to make sure that I have the, app, the apps that I want to be sharing enabled in my iCloud. So um, when I'm in my Apple ID, um, I can either click on Apple ID up here or iCloud, depending on which operating system I'm running. And I need to make sure that if I am sharing calendars, I have calendars turned on and reminders turned on because iCloud has to be activated on those services for it to allow you to share. But once those things are turned on, now what I can do is I told it to send those invitations via email. Now when I go into my mail, I should see uh, this folder uh, or this invitation. So here is my folder invitation that I got sent to this Apple ID asking if I wanted to uh, share this. So what I need to do is I need to click on the folder that it came with. And when I click on it, it's gonna take me to iCloud.com. And it, from here, it's gonna ask me to sign in with my managed Apple ID. So uh, again, it's syapplead.psdr3.org. That part's probably gonna be filled in for you. And then your password is the password that you created, uh, that you used for your iPad and your laptop when you logged in. And then hit the arrow or return to log in. Now it's gonna send a six digit uh, number to your cell phone that you used. Um, it may only do this once, depending on um, how often you've done it. And once you sign in, it'll ask you, do you want to trust this computer with this iCloud login? And I said trust. So it tells me, Dr. Moran folder has been shared. Um, do you want to add this to notes? I hit open in notes. Now, it opens it by default in the notes app that lives in iCloud.com, but I can also access it from the notes app that's on my computer and not the web version if I want. So if I go into my notes app, I now see a folder here called Dr. Moran, and anything I put into that folder is going to sync back and forth to my personal Apple ID from my school Apple ID. So I could create a new note uh, in here if I wanted to. And I'll check on that later. So now I'm gonna go back into my email and I'm gonna close that tab. And this time I'm gonna go to a message uh, that was sent to me from reminders. So this is a reminder list that I had sent to myself, an invitation, and I can tap on that. And it's gonna do the exact same process. So sometimes if you cannot get that list to work, if you ex click on a, your invitation and it tells you it's not available or it no longer is being shared or something along those lines, you can also do it the opposite direction. So if this doesn't work to send things one way, I could actually open up the Reminders app on my computer, create a Holman to-do list app, and then share it to a personal Apple ID uh, so that I can share it directly from one direction to the other. So if one way is giving you issues, you can always send it the other. In the same way, I will go onto my personal device and accept that invitation. So for our calendar, it works the same way. I have another email, here's my invitation, and I tell it to join that calendar. It's gonna have me access it via iCloud.com. I tell it to open it in my calendar. And once I've done that, it will open up that Holman calendar that I created um, in iCloud. Now it's fine in iCloud.com, or if I simply just opened up my calendar app on my computer, I will now see in my list of calendars, the Holman calendar now shows up. This little symbol here means this is a shared calendar. So now when I create an event in this calendar, uh, and I make sure that I have chosen my iCloud Holman calendar, it will show up on my personal device as well. And in case you didn't believe me, if I go into my notes, here is my Dr. Moran folder with my custom Dr. Moran note that I added to that folder. And again, I could go into my calendars. And in my calendars, I could simply go to a specific calendar like my Holman calendar, which is now shared with my work. 
And then when I look on the ninth, I see Mrs. Roth's birthday. So that's how I can share things between a personal and managed Apple ID. Sometimes it's a little clunky getting it set up, but once it's set up once, then you should be able to continually just add content to it and it should go back and forth between one device and the next.